Trello gives us so many different and flexible ways to manage our projects, manage our tasks, and manage our teams. But you know what? Once in a while, you say to yourself, I wish Trello could do this, or if only Trello could do that. Well, today I want to share with you a power-up which is going to give you some special features, going to give you some extra special enhancements. And that particular power-up is called Butler. Now, to enable your power-ups, you're going to need to go to your menu, select power-ups, and you'll get your full list. Now, Butler, it's in alphabetical order, so Butler is near the top. Here is Butler for you to enable it. And again, remember, if you are using a free or basic version of Trello, you are only able to use one power-up at a time. Now, once you've enabled the Butler power-up, you're going to see a little link here in the top right-hand corner. So let me click on Butler and show you what the interface looks like. Now, it looks a little busy here, but the first thing I want to point out here in this Butler dialog is that we have two tabs at the top. You can create special card buttons or board buttons. So what we are going to be doing, we're going to be looking at creating some customized tasks, some customized moves within Trello. And you can either do that at the card level, so you can add some special buttons directly to your Trello cards, or you can add some board buttons, which are also going to appear right next to the Butler link. Now, in today's tutorial, I'm going to focus on board buttons because I know there's a number of us who want to know how we can sort our tasks, right? How can we sort the cards within our lists and how can we move a large number of cards to another list or even to another board? So I'm going to select on board buttons and at the bottom I'm going to select create a new button. And here we have an interface which may look a little intimidating at first but let me walk you through it. So in this case what we want to do is sort our list. And I know there's so many of you who have requested this from Trello, right? Why can't I sort things by label? Why can't I sort things by due date within my Trello list? Well Butler gives you that capability. Capability. So the first thing we're going to want to do is give our board button a name. And in this case, I'm going to say sort uh, task list. Uh, it is going to be specific to this list, so that's why I've included task in this case. So I'd give my button a name, and next we can select an icon. Now these icons here are just for aesthetics, right? They have no powers in terms of what they can do. Uh, in this case, since it's a sort task, I'm just going to keep it with the default gear icon. And then when we come down below, we've got four different action options. So this first one has to do with creating new cards. The next one has to do with creating new lists. This one has to do with moving cards. And I'm going to get to that one in a second example. But the last one, here's the one we want. This is this ability to sort a particular list. So I'm going to select this action. And then it gives us some uh, predetermined templates down below where we can make some options. Now, in this example of sorting a list, I'm going to use this first one. So I want to sort the cards in list. Uh, anything that is a white box, you can make selections in. So I'm going to choose which list. In this case, I want it to be my tasks list. I want to sort it by due date, but look at all the other options I have. I could sort it by title alphabetically. I could sort it by votes. I could sort it by how old the card is or how long it's been in that particular list. In this case, I want to keep it with due date. I'm going to select ascending and I'm going to add the or I'm going to select the plus button here. Now at the top, it gives me sort of a brief summary of what I've selected. Sort the cards in list tasks by due date ascending. Yes, that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to select the save button. And now I'm brought back to my board buttons tab. And this is what it's going to look like, this sort task list. In fact, in the background, I can already see it up here. I've got this new link. So I'm going to close this Butler dialog. And here in the top, I have my sort task list link. Now before I select it, I want to show you what my task list looks like. 
Here I have uh, several different tasks, several different cards, each with different due dates, and you can see it's in a bit of a random order, right? It's certainly not in chronological order. And you may have a list which is much, much lengthier, much, much longer than this, and they all have due dates, or maybe they have different labels, or you'd like to sort them in some way. Well, we're going to do it in just a single click. With this Butler button that I've selected, I'm going to select it, you can see down below, I get a new dialog telling me that it's running, and look at that. Instantly, or in just a few seconds, it has sorted my entire list by due date, from soonest to the one that I have furthest out. So I've got this great handy button, which I can select at any time, right? I can make changes. Let's push this one back to the top, just so we can see it one more time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of change the order again. I'm gonna select Sort Task List. And there we go, we are back to our chronological order. So Butler, very, very powerful in making these types of changes. Let's take a look at another example. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna open up Butler and I'm gonna go back to my board buttons. I'm actually gonna just delete this one for a moment. I am just using the free version of Butler for this example. And you'll notice free plans are limited to just one button of each time. So if I go to create a new button, it's gonna tell me oh, you're, you need to upgrade if you want more. So I'm just gonna delete this one for a moment. I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to create a new board button. In this case, I want to move a number of my cards to a different list. You probably have a list where you're using labels um, of some sort, and they mean different things, but at some point in time, you'd like to move everything that has a particular label to a different list, and it, and it takes so long to just click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, especially if you have a very long list. Well, let's make it a lot easier. So in this case, I'm gonna say uh, move uh, completed, or yeah, I'm gonna say move approved in this case, because I'm gonna say that everything that's green in my notes list, I'm indicating that that's approved, and I wanna move that to my projects list. So I'm gonna call it move approved. Um, this time I'm gonna choose a different icon. I'm gonna check the thumbs up icon, that I've given it the thumbs up and I want to move it over. Now I'm going to come back down to selecting an action and in this case I'm going to select this one with the two arrows. You remember last time we selected the sort action, I want to select this uh, move action here. Now there's a few different options, quite a few different options here. The one that I'm going to select is down near the bottom. Move all the cards with A and yes, you can choose which label you want. In this case, I want green with the green. And if there is something specific in terms of the label name, you can include it here. I don't have anything specific right now, so I'm going to leave that blank. And I want to move it to the, let's say, yeah, let's move it to the bottom of the list. You can choose a few different options here, just the list or top, bottom, uh, the bottom of the list. And I want to move move it to my projects list. Okay, so I've got everything set up here that I like. I'm gonna hit the plus button, which just like we saw before, is gonna give us a brief summary before we save it. So this is exactly what I want happening. I'm gonna hit the save button here. And now I've got my new move approved. You can see the link up here. Let's close the Butler dialog, and here is our new Butler button. So on my notes list, I have three different items that all have the green label. And remember, think of a list that you have that has different labels or maybe some other characteristic and you've got a lot of them, right? You've got 20, maybe, maybe 40 or whatever, and you'd like to move them somewhere else. So with a single click of the button, I'm gonna select Move Approved. And it might take a few seconds, but there we go, they are gone from my notes list. And if I go over to my projects list and scroll down to the bottom, there they are. Everything with that green label has now been moved over to this list. So think of an activity or think of a task that you use frequently or maybe even infrequently that you would like to do with a single click and explore it within Butler. In this example, I didn't give you an example of card buttons just because I don't find that there's quite as many uses for an individual card buttons, but uh, you can explore the options that they have available to you, but I would highly encourage that you check out the board but buttons within Butler. If you want to sort, if you want to quickly do a number of things with a single click, 
Butler is the power up for you. If you have any questions about Butler or if you have any of your own tips on how you've used Butler, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And remember, if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber here at Simpletivity, and I want to thank you for watching today. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.